Hi, it's Huddle from sunny but cold South Africa in the Western Cape. Four degrees here this morning, coldest day this year, and we have passed midwinter. Uh, I know that's not very cold for most of you, but for us it's freezing. Okay, here's a video on how to transfer specifically um, e-reader files from a Windows-based PC or notebook across to an old iPad. When I say old, my iPad is at least 10 years old. I'm working off iOS 9, where you can't upgrade even Safari or Dropbox or most apps you try and load, say not compatible with this iPad or needs at least iOS 10. So the options are very limited and there's no video like this online showing you how to transfer these e-reader files. What you do need for this process is the old cable, the old wide cable, about an inch wide. And of course you need a Windows based PC or notebook with iTunes on and you need your iPad. So I'm going to take you through the process. I'm going to switch through to the front screen and we'll carry on from there. Right, there you can see I'm plugged in onto my iPad. There's my iPad. I'm going to slide to unlock. Don't copy my password. It's a mega password. Right, and there's my Windows. So I'm going to plug the USB in. Come on, baby. Right, I've plugged the USB in. Um, and it may pop up over here with a request to trust the device. Obviously, if it does, trust the device. Um, and then on the laptop, you might see that this menu here doesn't list your iPad at first. You, once you've trusted the device, once you've trusted the device here, you then unplug and replug the USB in, and then this menu here will pop up, the one showing Hardo's iPad. Okay, but now what do we do from here? Well, okay, now you have to actually go to this little icon up, up there. Got to click on that icon up there. So let's go and do that. And then watch what happens to the menu when I click on that icon. Ah, a new menu comes up with a summary over there. And that's what we're looking for, file sharing. So yeah, so now for file sharing to work to an old iPad, you actually have to have you actually have to have um, a program that receives files. So now that sounds obvious, but it's not obvious. So all of the standard iPad programs cannot receive files from file sharing. So the standard ebook, iBooks, e-reader is useless. So unless you want to have be purchasing books for the rest of your life instead of uh, reading books that you already have then that's fine so what I've done is you have to go to App Store Earth to App Store and you have to search for e books with an X ebooks there it is ebooks that's the one so now i already have it installed so i'm just going to press open but uh, you'd have to install it and that app allows for the receiving of files via a cable the rest of the apps already on the ipad don't so i'm going to open it hmm there it is, simple, basic e-reading e -reading app, uh, app that reads all kinds, every kind of e-reader file. No ads, nothing clean, beautiful. Beautiful and simple. So as you can see, 
books, nothing. I'm going to now transfer some books. So let's go back to BC. Now when I click on file sharing there, you'll see that eBooks comes up as an app. That's the only app that comes up, like I said. You have to install it and it installs on iOS 9 and hopefully lower. So now I activate eBooks. Oopsie, this is not a touch screen. I activate eBooks and you'll see it has one folder called Inbox and nothing. It's also the only eBook reader that allows you to drag books into the root directory of the, the app where the others want you to drag it into the books directory, which doesn't work. That's why this is the only one that works. Okay, right, now I'm going to say over here, let me just get my focus. I'm going to say add file over there. So let's go there. And what I've done, you lead it to the Windows directory, which I've already set up. So this is my downloads and I've got 10 different, I've got 10 books here. So we can count and see that they all got through from EPUB to Mobi to AZW3. Did you even know that was an e-reader file? I didn't. So I'm just going to select them all. Control A to select all. And then I go down there and I say open. And now we look. Ah, oh, silliness. That's gone to sleep. And now watch. It's going to add the books up here saying file adding process and booms 10 books added and there they all are okay. so that's how you do it guys enjoy Hi again so i actually discovered that you can in fact load ebooks across from a windows to ipad through itunes to the standard e-reader program on ipad which is ibooks uh, the only limitation is that you can only copy across EPUB files, so any other type of file you'll either have to convert or use the earlier suggested app, e-reader app called eBooks with the X on the end, that receives all types of e-reader files. The advantage to the local reader on iPad is that it shows books on a shelf in rows and columns which is prettier to scroll through than just one long column like on the eBooks app. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it quickly because there is a bit of a, uh, how can we say, technicality. I'm just swapping cameras now. Okay, so there's Hardo's iPad. There's the books directory. You'll see I already have books loaded in there. Um, and... I haven't activated this icon. You don't need to, but if I do, there's the summary. But so now looking at the standard on my device books directory, I'm going to copy across some some files. Well, just one file that I've selected. So what you do is you left click and hold. And this is the way I do it. And then I go over the, the iTunes icon and iTunes pops up and then I say I want to drag there so now here's the trick you hold that button in and don't release it until you see it change to link uh, that link icon shortcut or whatever only then do you release it there we go I've released it and there it's updating my files on the iPad and that's how it works one thing you need to know is the more books you copy across the longer it takes for that link shortcut to appear so you just have to hold it in and be patient and it will then change from a book number to the link icon and then you can release your mouse button and it will copy it across good super have a wonderful day